One way or another. Are you truly that blind, Lord? I am the Lord of House Forrester! Ha! <laughs> That's funny! <laughs> He's the fourth Lord Forrester I've seen in his many moons, Father. Let's put all this ugliness behind us. I'm willing to talk terms of your surrender. Surrender? Open your halls and bend the knee as my bannermen. You continue to produce ironwood under my supervision, of course. And you will join your house to mine for all to see. By wedding my queen. <laughs> well, fuck me. Asher, you can't! It's rather generous terms, actually. That would be easier to believe coming from Gwyn herself. Where is she? Far away from all this, of course. Besides, I speak on her behalf as her father. I would just as happily kill you all and be done with it. But I'm very generously giving you a way to keep your bloody lives. Oh, one last thing. As a show of my goodwill, I've brought home the body of your lord. Your brother was too stubborn to know when it was over. Roderick, let me see him. I want to see my brother. <laughs> We'll never bend the knee to a fucking White Hill. You will. Unless you want to end up like Roderick here. You have an hour. I'll be waiting in my camp. Sorry, little brother. I've buried too many sons. Maester, take my brother's body. You will join Father and Ethan in the grove. As you say, my lord. But... Forgive me, I, I just... Perhaps the time has come to truly let this bloodshed end. We simply accept. We bow our heads and Asher marries Gwyn. Craven! It's not the worst terms I've ever heard. I can't bow my head to the fucking White Hills after all they've done. I may have loved Gwyn, but... No. No, not like this. Even if we accepted, I somehow doubt Lud would keep you alive once Gwyn's produced an heir. There will be no marriage. If we bow our heads now, we'll always be his slaves. We have to kill them, Asher. I piss on surrender. Let's ride out and kill them all. We ride! To us! Spill their blood! Believe me, I want to kill every last fucking one of them. But we just don't have the numbers. Unless we take them on our terms, inside our walls. Lord rules that house with an iron fist. His sons, his bannermen, do nothing without his say-so. There may be 500 men outside that wall. Without Lord at the lead. They'll scatter like chickens with their heads cut off. That's good, but how? Lord will not simply cast aside his men and offer his neck. Such a task is easily said, but Lord is wary. 
we tell Lord exactly what he wants to hear. We invite him inside to celebrate and drink to our union. And then? Then an ambush. Your pit fighters strike from the shadows. No, an ambush is too chaotic. Things could go badly quickly. Lud could escape. There's another way. Poison. In his wine. There are those who would call poison a coward's weapon. No. Lethal and direct. Either plan is a high risk. We only lure Lud inside if the whole family is there to sell it. Talia and Ryan will both be in danger. I understand what's at stake. But poison is the surest way to see Lord dead. Then we have a plan. Whatever happens to me, I need you to get Ryan out alive. As soon as we move on, Lord. Not a problem. You know you're the only family I've ever had. That makes Ryan my brother, too. I won't forget this. I've forgotten the number of times I've heard you say that. I've said that before. We will avenge Roderick's death tonight, whatever it takes. Send word to Lud. We'll drink this night to the prosperous future of our united houses. She's left the keep! Search the area! Lady Mira. There she is. Take her. What's all this? Look, Morgren, please. You have to help me. Mira Forrester. You're coming with us. Please, do something. Surely you have more dangerous criminals to deal with than Lady Marjorie's handmaiden. We have orders from Captain Lucan Let to... Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mera? The Rivergate. Thank you. The river gate, quick as you can. What's going on, Mira? Is there a problem? Maybe I can help. Minor trouble, Lord Morgren. Nothing I can't deal with. Of course, I never doubted that. Although those guards did seem quite intent on dragging you off. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although, you've made short work of one of them at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was sending cell swords to Ironrath. I couldn't let that happen. <laughs> no need to explain to me. I'm glad he's out of the way. Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up, particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The Ironwood Market is wide open. Hold up, Lord Morgren. That's my family's Ironwood you're talking about. Well, for now at least, you're right. But probably not for long. You're clever, Mira. Identifying Andros as our common enemy while approaching me as a partner. You showed an understanding of King's Landing that took me years to gain. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine, a handmaiden stealing the Crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. 
Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. Do you really think you'll get away with this? I already have. After Lud takes Ironrath, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mira, but it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. The White Hills don't understand Ironwood. They can't take care of the forests. You may control the trade, but they'll run it into the ground. Only the foresters really know those woods. You're a fool not to see that. If they leave the hills there, I'll find another forest. I couldn't care less, and neither should you, because you'll be dead. We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! Lucan, I fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. You've got the wrong person. I... I've done nothing wrong! Shut your liar's mouth! It's time you answered for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mera. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick. Forgive my brother's temper. It said over time, wargs adopt the traits of their animal. And your news was... unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. And we are his bastards. I doubt anyone knows. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. That's why you're here, isn't it? I suppose. Josera would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were. That he was protecting us in his own way. We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. But instead it was you. You are the first to arrive. It must have been a difficult journey. Few try, and fewer still live to tell about it. I wouldn't have made it alone. I had help from my friend, Cotter, and, and Sylvie. But they were following your lead. You were the one who was sent by House Forrester. Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. But we've learned there's a power here, Garrett. A power we've only just begun to understand. Winter is coming, and we haven't much time. Gregor Ven Fionn and Bjorn Sager Ven. Svealod Mopre Befastan! <laughs> 